Kasbir, this is a big statement coming from a union minister and can be seen as a direct criticism of Chief Minister Renbirin Singh's way of handling things, Kasbir. Well, yes, this is almost one and a half months since the violence began in Manipur on the 3rd of May. And since then, it is for the first time that any political leader, uh, mind it, it's, uh, any political leader has made such a sharp indictment of the state government in Manipur led by Chief Minister N. Birin Singh. I would say not even an opposition leader has made such a sharp and direct statement of the state of affairs in the state of Manipur. And this has come from a top BJP leader of Manipur, R.K. Ranjan, who is the Minister of State for External Affairs. Now, what did R.K. Ranjan, what are the four takeaways from what R.K. Ranjan said? First, he said that, you know, this comes in the backdrop of R.K. Ranjan's private residence in the heart of Imphal being set ablaze by a large mob uh, yesterday night. Last night, a large mob came and attacked uh, R.K. Ranjan's private residence in, in Imphal and Imphal East and and and, and the, the, for forcing his uh, house guards to flee because the house guards were totally outnumbered by the mob and uh, now now what has uh, what has Arka Ranjan said he said law and order in Manipur has totally failed that's what he said he said that this, the existing government in Manipur has failed uh, despite the central government rushing lots of forces to the state of Manipur and he said that this he looks at it as an attempt on his life uh, and he said that there, this is the second time that it has happened there was an earlier instance on the 25th of May that was thwarted by the security forces but this time around he is saying that there could be a third attempt and he considered his, considered it as an attempt on his life now now this is for the first time that uh, anybody has said like this this is a direct indictment of the state government led by N. Birin Singh in Manipur. Now, 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 Birin Singh has been saying, Birin Singh has been saying more than, on more than one occasion in the last couple of weeks that this is not a fight between communities. This is a fight between illegal infiltrators, meaning infiltrators from Myanmar and the security forces. Now, uh, what is happening? The house is being burnt in the heart of capital Imphal. This is the eighth, this was the eighth incident of, uh, of burning an attack or vandalism on the houses of political leaders. Yesterday, it was the residence of private residence of R.K. Ranjan that was set ablaze. Mm. And, and before that, it was the official residence of Minister N. Kipgen, Kipgen who was, which was, that was totally burned down. And N. Kipgen was among the 10 cookie MLAs who have not been coming to the valley ever since the violence started on the 3rd of May. So, so this is the scale of violence that is going on, uh, not just in the periphery, not just in the foothills, but in the, in the heart of Imphal as well. And in this backdrop, the Arka Ranjan Union Ministers making this statement as, as come, it could not be, could not have come at a worse time for Chief Minister N. Birin Singh. Right, and was Vir R.K. Ranjan also questioned as to why the state government could not maintain peace despite the centre sending thousands of troops. So, clearly he is very unhappy. He is absolutely unhappy, but the answer to this question as to why the state government has not failed to maintain peace, maintain law and order despite the presence of thousands of security forces sent by the central government. Mm. Answer to this question can only be provided by the chief minister, Mr. N. Birin Singh. Uh, because law and order is actually a state subject and chief minister N. Birin Singh also holds the home portfolio. And therefore, what the question that uh, that R.K. Ranjan is raising uh, is being also being asked by several people and not just R.K. Ranjan, but a lot of people are asking this question. There are, isn't supposed to be an estimated 60,000 army police and paramilitary uh, uh, in the state as of now they're saying that 40,000 troops have been rushed in the wake of the violence there was already 10,000 Assam rifles men present in the state that brings it to a total to 50,000 and and out of the about 18,000 or so Manipur police personnel about 10,000 are armed 10,000 are armed therefore the total number of security forces present in Manipur today is estimated to be to be about 60,000. So a lot of people are asking this question as to why the state has failed. The question that R.K. Ranjan has openly raised. Mm. Uh, and now answer to this lies only with Chief Minister N. Birin Singh and his cabinet.